able to um, have some sort of a, a museum. Um, again, it'd be, it'd be like a, uh, a multi-bay metal garage with an office, and the office would have a bunch of memorabilia. Each of the bays can have the antique engine, per se, in there with memorabilia from those specific, specific areas or organizations. And that's a long-term plan. So the long-term goal is to be able to not only have that there, but also have the memorial that is currently sitting in the Knights Inn Park, having it on the grounds. And uh, the fire district's actively looking at, um, we currently don't have dedicated training grounds, nor have we, we ever had dedicated training grounds. And so we're, we're trying to identify property to be able to do that. And that's where this would live. So um, this ceremony, the long-term goal is to take this concept and move it under the district property to some degree as we move forward. But there's no reason why we can't can already start to honor those that are working those capacities as we move forward. So we're starting at the park and using the garden club because uh, the district doesn't have facilities, but as we secure them, we'll transition them there. And we want to make a, primarily, it was for these members, but the, the Knights Inn Association, um, the memorial itself recognizes, yeah, I think it has language on there, does it not, that says to all volunteers of the county to some degree? Yeah, part of the memorial. Right. Yeah. And there's nothing out there throughout the county, and so our chief focus is that, but it, it, but it really points to, and it calls to all of the volunteer organizations of the past. So, um, as 